Hey guys, what's good? Welcome back or welcome to the Pangdang where our content is contagious. Today we're playing Single Strike Ushifu with the new inclusion of the... Du -du -du, where is it? Umbreon VMAX which is insane since it's a dark Pokemon it can beat Calyrex and Dragonpult which Ushifu is weak to because fighting is weak to... Um, it's weak to Psychic so having the Umbreon um, it's a great way to get around that type and those match up. So yeah. Uh, and with Umbreon, it's been really good since you can play it, evolve it, uh, boss out a, your opponent's bench Pokemon, so you keep knocking out them and going for big damage. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, subscribe if you haven't done so, and let's jump on. Okay, so the deck that we're playing is quite basic. Uh, it's really, really good. In my opinion, it's one of the funnest deck, and it could be one of the best decks. So yeah, let's jump in to the deck list. So we got a Crobat for consistency. I want to play two, but I think one should be enough. However, opening up is quite annoying, so let's just try and tempt it to play two. But uh, we're still testing with this, so this is on my finish list. But this is what I've been playing uh, recently in real life, and testing with some things. And we got the 4-4 uh, lineups, and nothing special about that. Uh, we're playing 3 2. Those of people playing 3 VMAX or 2 VMAX is always a jumble of numbers. I think 2 is fine. You don't really need to go for a further. It's not really that often you go for Armbrion VMAX. It's only used for Armbrion for its what was it? It's moving like Blade uh, against uh, Kyra, so you can one shot it. But um, the Dark Sigma does come in handy, so the draw engine as a discarding folder. So it's not bad. Um, so. Uh, Ushifu, we're playing 3 2. There's a deck that played 4 2, 4 Ushifu V, uh, or some people just play 2 2 line and focus more on Umbreon. I think 3 2 is probably best because you can do 220 enough to knock out most V if you attach uh, at least 2 uh, single strike energy, so that's cool. So yeah, and then you got 2 of the big ass attack of the G Max 1 blow, which you can do. Uh, I think how much maximum 350 I think or 330 if you have all four single strike which is quite easy with this deck so that's cool and yeah and then the rest is all about consistency so play four evolution incense four quick ball one switch I think one switch should be enough uh, four urns just cards too good in the deck and then we got the four tower of darkness just for draw engine and to get rid of path to peak just in case you need to go for Umbreon knockout or to get a crowbat. Two bosses all day since you got your Umbreon VMAX. We've got four Marnies. Uh, consistency, if you have all your single strike energy in your hand, you can money and shuffle back to your deck, so that's quite nice. We've got the four Reach Search, so you can draw your, uh, set up your Hound Door or Hound Doom faster. Two Air Belly, one Squirrel Scorn. In testing with this card, haven't seen the need for it yet, but I know in a tournament or in some odd game, having this is really handy. So yeah, I'm keeping this in just in case because you can do much more bigger damage and with only one resource, so that's really nice. Tool Jammer, you can play Tool Scrapper, but I think Tool Jammer at the moment is really good, especially with the inclusion of Jolteon uh, Italio using Tool Jammer, I mean they have to attach two more energy rather than just playing a badge and an energy to do sniping damage. And plus, Tool Jammer help uh, to what was it to lock your opponent away? So if your opponent have an air balloon on their bench, you can go Umbreon, bring up that air balloon, do a damage, and then they'll be stuck. So it's just a nice way. And rather than having tool scam, uh, tool strapper, it's quite annoying. I mean, they're both just good, so it depends how you fancy. But at the moment, I think tool jammer is the way forward. And then we got the four uh, single strike. You have to pay four. If you don't pay four, you're rubbish. <laughs> four capture energy. Uh, people has been playing three capture energy, two fighting, and four, and playing nine energy, and playing like an ordinary rod instead. I think I want to set up your hound door as soon as possible. So I think four capture energy is, is better because it's the card that you because it's too good. You play four quick ball one or play uh, four capture. Anywho, let's jump into a few games and see how good this deck is. All right, so first game of the day. Tails never fails, come on. We want to go first, like every deck you want to go, so yep. Okay, let's see if we get anything good. Okay, we open up pretty good. We just haven't got a V to attack with, but as long as we've got a setup and the handle, we can attack for next time. 
Okay, and it seems like our opponent Mulligan, so great way to start this video. Alright, Zacian. Yeah, this is this should be an easy match, right? We should win this with ease. Okay, he's playing like a uh, metal control, so it's essentially four Zacian would be two Zamazenta, two on Drew, this is one cell lineup. So we're gonna draw one card, that's fine. Okay, so it seems like we haven't drawn anything. In all honesty, I'm just trying to just play the Evolution Incense to thin down the deck. So I'll probably get this um, VMAX because we don't really need it. Throw up the hair. Um, discard this. Go to the mall. Got nothing. Uh, to be honest, so let's just attach the energy here so we can retreat it next turn without wasting an energy attachment. <clears throat> So at this moment, we're in a good position, I'll say. We just need to draw a V, and then we can start attacking. Oh, what a V and an NG, since we're doing two hounding. What we should have done is, when I played my Evolution Incense, I should see how many single strike energy I have. So that might be a major factor. Ugh. Okay. Good toughness, that's fine. Okay, you see like our opponent. It's not going to attack us, which is rare for them to attack us first turn. But yeah. <clears throat> I should have saved. But I just want to be aggressive. They say this is one of the hard decks to play just because you have to control, uh, well, manage your resource. And I just didn't miss before playing the Tower of Darkness. I should have saved it for next turn. Play on, the, uh, on Crystal Cave. But I want to get energy to retreat this out. And there'd be. So. You can argue which way was the right way. Okay. Oh, another reason why we play um, Tool Jammer, we can knock out this and ignore the whole Cape of Toughness. But then Tool Scrapper can knock out too. So these are the two reasons why I don't know what to play out of those two. Okay, doesn't matter. We draw a Tower of Darkness, which is nice. We're gonna evolve this. Evolve this. Okay, we got Marnie because we need to draw something. Quick ball and B. I mean, it's not the best. Okay, let's just play this. Yeah, okay. I, I, I don't know why, I just forgot I had. Okay, so. It's quite annoying. So, in that case, we're going to attach the energy here. Uh, equip this Everlene there. Oh my god, Crobat. And let's see if we can draw something away. Okay, uh, we're in a tough position. And honestly, I don't mind putting this up front. Uh, I'm not really fussed about anything. They can take this prize and I can knock out with my Ushifu, so that's okay. Yeah. So now, if you have the boss's order, you can boss out my Ushifu and I'll be in a tight position, but I don't think he has a boss. I think he's just going to take the easy bait of a Crobat and then I can get this. Okay, he tool scrapper, that's fine. Come on, just don't play your boss and I'm good. Oh, he has it. Okay! <clears throat> right, we still got this. Still got this, guys. Evolution Incense. Grab the uh, Strike. It's got the Tower of Darkness, got the Dark Fate. We need it now. So 
that kind of tab doesn't necessarily so we'll look quite good on that. So that in case we're going to play with we'll capture energy to bench another attacker. And then <clears throat> Shuffle back two of this. Right. Essentially, I can knock this out if I get a tool jammer and a switching card from this one mining. him to knock this out he needs a switch yep <laughs> and the boss's order but there's no way he drew it no way this deck doesn't play that much and he used three bosses yeah that's fine okay I'll be shocked if you have another boss Oh my god, four bosses order. That absolute scene. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> wow. Or tool jammer. This is all for I need tool jammer energy. Uh, knock this out. Since we have the uh, V mats, can't lock us up. So that's nice. I'm gonna Tower of Darkness away. This. I'm gonna bench this from that turn. Attach an energy here. It's fine, fine, fine. I mean, I there's no way of him bossing out anything now, so I should start winning this game now. Yep. Switch, in which case we got this. Alright, he's probably gonna just intrepid sword and just retreat out, and that's why we got the B max to just boss it out. And um, we haven't wasted any bosses order yet. That's fine. So him with manual retreat tells us that he does not have a switch. Okay, we're in a great, great position. Uh, just evilly draining since you will have. Okay, not there. Alright, what else do we have? Okay, so that being said, don't really want to knock this out. There's no way he will attach into your energy unless. No sources is gone. Just trying to get something, so if I just go Umbreon Boss out this guy and just wanna see my 
back again. Didn't pay attention. Alright, one, two, three. I got a boss. Okay. So now, since we don't need the Hound Door, we just discard this just so we can thin down our deck. So let's just get a Umbreon. It's quite nice. And now we're just gonna knock out this Pokemon. Okay, so now we just want to draw our energy. Oh, quick for useless. Okay, we draw the fourth energy. Yeah. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. I'm pretty sure we got this now. Because I can just keep doing 140. And if I attach this to be 160, if I attach this to the G Max 1 below, I can knock out this because I can ignore his uh, ability with his effect. Yeah. Alright, now our opponent is a tough position. We kept the air balloon in our hand so we can. Um, well, so we can retreat. That's fine. That's fine, we still got Fox's order. We got this. Our pair is just waiting before he realised he lost. That's fine. 105. I just need to draw a band of vitality and I got this. Or right, a energy, really. Okay. So, first, we're just going to get a handle. Actually, so I got one up. I need to draw that one up. The most he can do is one thirty. Uh, okay. One up, one up. Right. Let's just put all the way with Umbreon to get another Umbreon to our hand. That's fine, but I'll come out and do my scar pile. And if I can't take it, yep. And five energy is perfect, just two energy we need. And yep. So I guess this score, scrawn of single strikes, uh, scroll, really handy. All I need is just one energy, and now I just need to draw a boss's order, which we know we have a boss in our deck. Okay. Yeah, alright, so I think this is why this card is good. Yeah, it's not bad to be fair. Our opponent's pretty much lost this. I think he's just trying to get another Zamazenta on bench and just hide behind that. Unless it's bench, unless it's, it's prized, which seemed like it. Root on fair, that's fine, mate. Three, four, four K, that's fine. Anyhow, him winning is going for another sources. Okay, no, it's game. It's game. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Uh, the vitality fast. A hound or death. Hound or a cat. Oh my god, I think I'm off. Oh no, I got this. Just in case. Attach this here. Boss out this. Use my attack of my fury anger and knock it out for game. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> we did it. It looked like we were gonna lose the way he, the tempo he had with the boss boss boss, but we smashed it. <laughs> so this one this deck is insane. So game one we won. Sick deck. But it's against a Zamazentization deck, which is quite boring. Okay, so I think we're going second. So having an Ushifu start off is quite nice since we can laser focus. Yeah, okay. Cool, cool, cool. And um, what are. Oh, it's playing Rayquaza. No. <laughs> a deck, in my opinion, is really, really rubbish. But who knows? This match I could be a bit different. But I'm pretty sure uh, it's rubbish. So for this matchup, we want to use a boss to keep knocking out their Rayquaza before they can even get set up. So what we need now, we need dry energy. So let's Tower Darkness, Marnie. We just want to draw energy, so it's fighting energy properly. Okay. Do I even want Crowbat? I don't really want Crowbat since I always think my support. And so with that in mind, we get real Tower Darkness. Draw energy with the energy. So I think we got a single hound himself. Okay, just gotta fail this. Play this just for two cards. Come on, give me energy. Okay, this is fine. Spare enough it now. Laser focus. Attach two more energy. So let's just see what we have. Free, free line of the hound door. 3-3, three, three, 2 earn, uh, 1 spawn and all that. Okay, that's fine. So now, we're in a great position. Because <clears throat> I think Rayquaza V is like a 210 HP. So now we got the boss's order. Yep, yeah, I think it's 210. Yep. Yeah. So we can just keep going. Uh, impact below and knock it out. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Mate. That's fine, that's fine, absolutely fine. Just end your turn and I win. I got draw energy with my tower darkness. I just go do one eight two twelve. Oh god, I need to draw another V. Oh my god, I should have got a Crowbat. Oh no, I got one more Crowbat, is it? <laughs> okay, I think the right play is just to... Umbreon. <clears throat> Do I get real of this? Well, I don't get real of it, but... Play in a tight position. Yeah, I'll get this out. Equip a tool so it can escape from me. And GMAT or Impact Fuller and just do 200. So now, since I attached a tool jammer, it means you cannot uh, skate rope. I mean, not skate rope, uh, air balloon. Instead, you just go attack. Yeah. And do 160? 180? 180. It's 20 and up to up. Oh, there's 100 damage the most you can do, that's fine. Okay, perfect. So now I'm just gonna bring this up. Yeah, out of the way. And I think my opponent has a bad hand, so I don't really want to get the other bit, so that means I'm gonna air balloon. 
sucks that I'm gonna get rid of that. I don't really want money. Him, because he just got those hand, got those cards. Sorry. right now but if I have this uh, if I attach free energy of it that's fine and then I'm just gonna knock this out I think yeah there's no way he can knock this out we're quite <coughs> see with Wayquaza the deck is good yeah but it's it's was it it's consistency see for him to attack the most he can do is he needs to flaffy flaffy attach this and the most he can do is 180 while I can just knock it out if I draw a Umbreon VMAX. Uh, Seems like he hasn't got this and now I uh, evolve this and then shut down his whole engine. He's going to scoop any minute now so I'm going to get this Umbreon. Umbreon here. To gus out the Flaffy, so now he's even more behind than he should do. Uh, just gotta bench this, doesn't matter. I gotta attach this to here. We're pretty much in a great position. Just gotta hound doom onto my uh, Ushifu just in case. Don't even know why. I mean, I do I can switch, but I don't really need to. So I'm just gonna research because I want to just set up another boss's order in hand. Uh, I've got a Tower of Darkness, discard a Hound Door, just want to draw a boss for next turn, which we do. And now I'm just going to keep uh, knocking out this. And keep going 240, so that's fine. And yeah, we're pretty much in the driver's seat. He's going to realise that he can't win, and we got this. Yeah, that's fine. It's okay, I, I, I can't afford not to do anything. Uh -huh. I can't afford to do nothing. Okay, let's just see what's in my deck before I do anything straight. Okay, I got another energy, so I just need to have cash energy. <laughs> uh, don't really do anything at the moment, so with that being said, I'm just going to end my turn. But I think his way of winning now is to um what do you call him G? Um to Ray Quaza. But I'm pretty sure You know, honestly, if I just boss this out, that's probably the play. Boss like that. And I'll end my turn. I'm going to play quite too aggressive in this game. <laughs> and it might come and bite me in the ass. Okay, enjoy the energy. Now I'll go. Alright, so I have misplayed. I realised I should have not used the energy down, I should have put the energy up front. Uh, and since night 
two, got two, and it's been gone, that's fine. Alright, so, <laughs> obviously I don't know if he wins this, wins this. Alright, so he probably has a research in his hand, can't let this research me, yep. <laughs> oh, this played this. <laughs> Oh my god. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, no. Switch card. Yeah, that's fine. Just gotta go. Attack. One. Oh, yes, a boss. <laughs> Zero a boss. But it's nice. Alright, now I've got a game. Alright, it's over. It's over. I give him the well play, as in don't waste my time. <laughs> and I've won this. Yeah, bro. Yeah, it's fine. See, even I miss playing, I still win. Now I. Yeah. And so he's just gonna attach your energy, fighting. Oh, yeah, that's fine. So now I can't boss this out and I can just knock it out. Oh with that. Yeah, I realize I want because I can just boss out anything. So yeah, uh, with this deck we smashed up with Ujifu, uh, single strike. I personally think the deck is really fun, it's really consistent. And you just saw a few games. This first game dominated. Yes, he may seem like he was in the tempo, but we kept knocking out with kept applying pressure. And then game two, I was doing well, set a game plan with boss Umbreon, VMAX, and everything like that to bring out his Pokemon. But the only thing is why it took so long is because I misplaced my energy. I should be more precise and just focus on two attackers or realized what's in my price first. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please give a like, subscribe if you haven't done so, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.